throughout history. Mankind has reported on all sorts of strange occurrences, witches, werewolves, vampires, UFOs, ghosts, angels, and demons. Are these all just urban legends, stories, or myths? Or is there some form of truth that lurks in the shadows? Together, we endeavor to explore and investigate these strange occurrences which have taken place throughout mankind's history. Together, we are ETFW. Welcome to the library. The Stanley Hotel in S Park, Colorado is not only famous for its stunning old world charm and excellent service, but it is also known for its active paranormal phenomena and spirit folklore. The 100 plus year old hotel, located about 5 miles from the entrance to Rocky Mountain National Park, offers panoramic views of Lake Est and the Rocky Mountains, and especially Long's Peak. The Stanley Hotel was built in the early 1900s by Freeland Oscar Stanley, who created the Stanley Steam Engine, a steam-powered horseless carriage. The majestic Georgian-style hotel opened in 1909, catering to the rich and famous. Freeland Oscar Stanley and his wife, Flora, traveled to Colorado in 1903 because Mrs. Stanley's doctor advised him to seek out fresh mountain air. Stanley, who suffered from tuberculosis, had been advised not to make plans beyond six months. Stanley's doctor arranged for the couple to stay in a friend's cabin in S Park for the summer. Immediately, they fell in love with the area, and Mrs. Stanley's health began to dramatically improve. After spending the summer in the cabin, Mrs. Stanley's wife wanted a home like the one she had left behind in Maine, and the couple set out to build their new home about one and a half miles where the Stanley Hotel would be later built. Today, the house is a private residence. Mrs. Stanley built the hotel on land that he purchased from the Irish Earl Lord Dunraven. Dunraven came to the area in 1872 while on a hunting trip. He built a hunting lodge, cabin, and hotel for his guests and illegally homesteaded up to 6,000 acres in an unsuccessful attempt to create a private hunting preserve. Dunraven was finally ran out of the area after trying to swindle folks out of their land and money. In 1906, construction started on the Stanley Hotel, wood and rock were obtained from the nearby mountains and the hotel was built in a Georgian architectural style. In 1909, the luxury hotel was completed, with no expenses spared. Equipped with running water, electricity, and telephones, the only amenity the hotel lacked was heat, as the hotel was designed as a summer resort. The Stanley Hotel has hosted many famous guests, including the unsinkable Molly Brown, John Philip Souser, Theodore Roosevelt, the Emperor and Empress of Japan, and of course, the Stanley Hotel hosted Mr. Stephen King, whose experience at the Stanley Hotel inspired his book, The Shining. In addition to its regular guests, the hotel is also said to play host to a number of otherworldly visitors. The most notable is Mr. Freeland Stanley himself, who is most often seen in the lobby of the billiard room, which was his favorite room when he was still alive. On one such occasion, he was said to have appeared during a tour group's visit to the billiard room, materializing behind a member of the tour. Not to be left out, Flora Stanley also haunts the hotel, continuing to entertain guests with her piano playing at the ballroom. Employees and guests have reported hearing music coming from the room, and when they take a peek in there, they can see the piano keys moving. However, as soon as someone walks across the threshold to investigate further, the music stops and no more movement can be seen upon the keys. There are several rooms in the hotel that seem to be particularly haunted. One is room 407, which is said to sometimes be occupied by Lord Dunraven himself, who was the previous owner of the land that the Stanley Hotel resides on. Reportedly, he likes to stand in the corner of the room near the bathroom door. On one such account, a witness reported that a light in the corner kept turning on and off. While the light was off, they told the ghost that they knew that he was there. They would only be staying two nights, and would he please turn the lights back on? The light turned back on. However, later when the lights were turned off, when they were trying to sleep, noises were constantly heard from the nearby elevator. During a time when the elevator was not in use, at other times a ghostly face has been reported to be looking out of the window of room 407 when the room is not being booked. Room 418 gets the most reports of haunting activity, apparently from children's spirits. Cleaning crews have reported hearing many strange noises from the room, as well as seeing impressions on the bed when the room has been empty. When guests stay in the room, they often report they hear children playing in the hallway at night. One couple reportedly checked out of the hotel very early in the morning, complaining that the children in the hallway kept them up all night long. However, 
there were no children booked in the hotel at this time. There have also been many reports by guests of haunting activities in room 217 and 401. Tour guides tell the story of the ghost of a small child who has been seen by many of the staff in various areas of the old hotel. Reportedly, Stephen King also saw the child. Other past employees report footsteps and apparitions seen throughout the building. The Stanley Hotel is listed on the National Register of Historic Places today, and the Stanley Hotel is open year-round and offers various accommodations. What do you think of the Stanley Hotel? Would you be brave enough to stay the night? Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and comment down below your thoughts. Until next time, we at ETFW.